dinosaurs in the 55. Come on. Like a couple of old foundations right there. Ten freeway. Pretty cool, right? We're gonna get some pictures. So it's what. Then we're gonna head down to uh, Desert Center. I think it's Historic Desert Center. Anyways, back on the road. Historic De Desert Center Cafe.
We're heading that way, east. You ever seen Oliver Stone's movie U-Turn? This is the spot. Not the U-turn, but the, uh, not the crossroad, but. big old cactus, some train tracks, and I think that was the way to the, the town with Billy Bob Thornton in U-Turn. And uh, yeah, thank goodness I got the, the radiator and a spare hose for the 55. It is quiet and the greenest I've ever seen it here in the desert. Amazing. Anyways, here's a spot from U-Turn. We're gonna head into Superior and check it out. Come on for the ride. So this is the place where I think, I think this is the grocery store that they robbed and he shot the guy and yeah. I think so. Kind of cool. All right, we're back on the road for more uh, more your U turns and your action. All right, the lady just said the destination's on the left. Here it is. Hi there, Pooch. I'm sorry to bother you. It's the old church. That's a house. All right, back on the road. Next location. Greetings from Superior, kind of cool. Had a stop, got a few pictures. This is a place uh, I get think Sean Penn talks to John Voigt with the sale. camera. We made it to the Superior Post Office. You know I got a thing for post offices. What can I say? So I got to move because we're parked handicapped, but this was a little U-turn action in Superior, Arizona. So thanks for coming along for the ride. We're going to head on up to Globe continue the trek. All right. Look at this. Globe, Arizona. Little wigwam action. But it's not a wigwam. This is a teepee.
was just driving by and saw it, figured I'd stop. Check it out. Look at that sign. Can you imagine that lit up with neon? How awesome would that be? El Rey Motel. We got the El Rancher right over there. to meet you. T can you tell me a little bit? Tell us a little bit about the sign. It's been here. This place is, well, let me get some pictures. All right, I'll, I'll show you some. Okay, cool. Look like and, all right. All right. Yeah. He's going to get some pictures. All right. I'm going to get some pictures too. And I guess, what the heck. Kind of cool, right? Yeah, I love that sign. What I've been told is the place is built in the 40s. Okay. And then the war, so they quit building, and they resumed it after the war. And as you can see, well, there. Oh, very Look cool. Cars. That's an, even a different sign. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Completely different. Yeah, smaller. And... Look at the look at the autos. Yeah, they're they're all in pre. The... Oh, that's a fit. So they're pre fifties. Yeah. So it's got to be forties. Yeah, wow. And then there's one taken, two thousand six. Okay. Where it used to have the plants and stuff in front of it. And stuff. What happened to the plants and stuff? I, somebody took them out. Oh, okay. And this used to be a cafe right here from 11 up to 14. It was a cafe? Wow, okay. It was. Okay. And they converted it back into rooms. And that's a postcard? Yeah. Oh. Very cool. What's a... Uh... You can keep that if you want it. Oh, no way. Really? Yeah. Do you sell them? I got some in there. Uh, well, thank you. All right, well, write him or call him here if you want to buy some and uh, sell them for uh, I don't know whatever you feel comfortable with. But th these are these are very cool. I like this. Thank you so much for the tour and the and the, and the history. Yes, and take that one back. Yeah, we're just on our way through. And uh, who are you talking to? This is just a video for my YouTube channel, and I'm just an idiot who drives an old car all around the place. That's a nice and car. thanks, man. I heard it in my room. You heard it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's got the new uh, exhaust system, and uh, this is the first big road trip shakedown run. Really? So, Where yeah. are you from? Uh, Colorado now. Yeah. Uh, so thanks again. You bet. Take care. We're out. Be careful. This place, Alberto's Mexican food. Look at it. The double bat wing. What is this? Oh, that's that car. Back up a little bit. 55, sir. Thank you. So you got Alberta's Mexican food. I need to get some pictures. Plain sight. 
site. See it right there? The Madonna of the Trail, Springerville, Arizona. Madonna of the Trail, Springerville, Arizona. This will be number 11. Coronado passed here in 1540. He came to seek gold and found fame. National Old Trails Road. That's the thing is that Springerville isn't anywhere near the National Trails Road. It's up towards Route 66 or way north of here. That's so I'm not sure Springerville should have it. It should have been Kingman, Arizona, but either way, who am I to say? Historic driving tour, Madonna of the Trail. This 10-foot high, 5-ton statue cast by St. Louis sculptor August, August Lembeck is one of 12 identical monuments to the bold spirit of the pioneer erected in 1920-29 along the National Trails Road from Maryland to California. Exactly, National Trails Road. A tribute to the pioneers of Arizona and the Southwest who trod this ground and braved the dangers of the Apaches and other warrior tribes. The dangers of them. We came in and took all their stuff and killed them all. So there you go. Madonna of the Trail, Springerville, Arizona. All right. This, I believe, used to be the old Ford dealership. I think I found a picture of it somewhere. Cool old building, right? That's the Springerville Fire Department. Directly across the street from the Madonna of the Trail. That was facing north. Yeah. All right, back on the road. And you know I couldn't resist. It's right here. United States Post Office. Right? doing out here? I work for the park. What do you do? What do you do? I work in the uh, museum association out of the park here at the south end. I'm just now getting off work, so. Okay, very cool. Yeah. I'm uh, Jeff the Sid. I'm John. John, nice, nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, looking nice. I like it. Yeah. Thanks. One of my favorite cars. <laughs> yeah? yeah? Mine too. I collect Hot Wheels and the only thing I can get oh, is Hot Wheels. So. Oh, very cool. Yeah, yeah one of mine too. Yeah, mine too. Any uh, any places you recommend to get a picture of this thing? Well, there's not really because there's only parking lots and stuff and everything in there, so it's not really really any good places to get pictures. Okay. Any of the woods and stuff. But, um, the only other place I say at the north end of the park at the Painted Desert Inn. 
Okay. Because it's a historical building. All right. And then uh, uh, who designed the visitor centers at New Richard Nutra? Oh, I really could tell you because the visitor center down here was built in 1936. So it is CCC did that. Okay. The one up design. north at the north end up the yeah, highway. The, the Painted Desert Inn. I or, think it's or, the one around the corner from that. Yeah, I, I don't know who actually. Park headquarters, maybe, yeah, anyways. Park headquarters, yeah. All right. Back in the 60s. 60s yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mid century guy. Yeah. All right, John, pleasure I don't to meet you. too much in the history on that stuff, though, yeah. All, All right, right, thanks so much for the yeah. compliment. No problem. Have a good one. Crystal Forest. Petrified Forest National Park. Petrified Forest National Park. That's a good shot. Well, we got to get going to Clark's, close at five or Clark's. Good decision. 28 miles. Yeah, we got to go. We got to get on the road, all right? You never asked. Oh, yeah. Remember when I told you about my national park pass? Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Oh, and I do need a photo ID. Hey, and a I photo ID. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll have to ask you to sign your name on there. So. That's okay.
Forest National Park is the only national park to have historic Route 66 pass through it. And I want to say, I'm not certain if it's 1937 Plymouth. See those the telephone poles? All the telephone poles. That's the old. We're at 66. Highway of Dreams! Petrified Forest is the only national park in the country with a portion of historic Route 66 within its boundaries. You're currently standing on the Mother Road, where the Mother Road used to be with the line of telephone poles paralleling the alignment through the park. This stretch of Route 66 was open from 1926 until 1958. It was the primary way millions of travelers initially experienced Petrified Forest and the Painted Desert. Imagine driving the spot. Oh, it's a 1932 Studebaker. So the Painted Desert Tower. The Lion Farm. 1932 Studebaker. You can see Highway 10 in the background. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Anyways. The old Studebaker. And while we're at it. Might as well head over to the telephone poles, right? Watch out for that. And the telephone poles. So yeah, and the only way to get that overpass is uh, Petrified Forest National Park. Look at all the telephone poles.
All right, Let's see if I can get some pictures of this thing. The highway in the background. All right.
gorge. Look at that old Taco Bell. Abandoned. On the side of the freeway. Courage. Do a quick drive through a Fort Courage. General store. Cake House is super cool. Love that sign. Old Taco Bell. Gotta get the shot. Even if it is cold. Mm. All right, I couldn't resist. One more shot of the 55. More courage. I got the shot. It's cold, man. Now we're on our way to Gallup. Gallup, giddy up. Might as well get some video, right? I mean, look at this. Look at that sunset. You go to the Bannett Station. In Gallup, New Mexico.
just found my uh, where I'm gonna eat tonight. El sombrero. Okay, sorry. Mm, yeah, sorry. Uh, I got the thing up above me, but beer's already here. Chips are already here. El sombrero. I got. I think it's the reduzio, some sort of meat enchilada. Fingers, uh, fingers crossed. <laughs> Just a little bit cold out right now. Let's uh, you want to check out a cold start? This is pretty cold. Mexico, a little bit of a breeze, fire and ice park, and the Grand New Mexico Historic Route 66 drive through No neon because, well, because it's not dark out, but pretty cool. Let's get some pictures. Pardon me? 1955. Yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. here in Grants with the old 55 Route 66 making friends. All right, now more Route 66 through Grants. Come on. Take a look at this masterpiece. Wow. Roaring 20s. Right on old Route 66. Compassion Mortuary. Oh yeah, Roaring 20 sign, that thing is awesome. Get some pictures. The Desert Sun.
looks like the front desk. Front desk has seen better days. Wow. There you go, I'm gonna get some pictures. Desert Sun, abandoned. Grants, New Mexico. What's that? Uh, my buddy's got a 55, but it's not painted, it's just half primer and stuff. Oh, okay. So when I was down there, I thought she was making a U-turn. Gotcha. That's a nice car, man. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. So, did you just pull into town? Oh, yeah. Just going through, come through Grants, Route 66. Okay. Well, we got the uh, sign in the park that you can take a picture by right underneath the sign and stuff. Yeah, got that. You got that already? Yep. Right got now, the desert. Uh, yeah, I know they tore down a lot of places around here, but I wish they had. In Milan, they've got the Well Diner. Okay. It's an old style type diner and stuff. You can take a picture in front of that one. Oh, very cool. So that one, if you go through Milan and turn like you're going towards back onto the interstate, on, on the other side of the interstate is where the Wild Diner is by Petros and stuff like that. By awesome. Iron Thanks Steel. very much, man. I appreciate it. Jose Garcia. All right. Okay, so on your way in, did you stop at Budville and all that? The way in? I'm going that way. Oh, you're going that way. Yeah. Okay, so once you get on the old road here, if you stay on the old road, don't go back on the interstate. Back over. Go get it. There's another front entrance. Stay on that one. It'll take you back to the reservation. Back on the old road 66. Okay. That'll take you to Sandville and Barrow. Okay. Barrow and Budville. Because I've been to Bud Bud Budville's on the other side of Albuquerque, isn't it? No, Budville's on this side. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, I read the story. I've been there before. It's super cool. Okay. Thank you. roundabout just kind of stay around it and go back to the outside left hand side front of the road and they'll take you through some really neat little curve by the rocks and stuff it's dead man's curve oh, okay okay and then you get back on uh, is that before end. or after buttville it's after buttville awesome so just stay on route 66 yeah but but see what turn what messes you up is right there at old laguna uh because that little turnabout that's there Everybody gets back on the interstate. What you're going to do is you're going to go back over and you'll see another little road. Get back onto that one and follow in. Awesome. Okay. Thank you, sir. Good luck, I man. appreciate it. Thanks. Take care. Take care. Had it like that. Making friends as fast as I can meet them at the Canton Cafe here in Grants, New Mexico. All right. San Fidel. here. Geezerville. Oh, and a post office. Nice. Little 
sign. Not a lot here. All right, head down to Budville. Oh, and here you go. Budville. The Budville Trading Company. Route 66. And Budville actually has its own exit off of Interstate 40. And there's a grisly tale that goes along with this. Some kind of murders and, and stuff happened here at Budville. But I saw a picture of it somewhere years ago. I've been here before, but it was kind of raining and not the best weather. And uh, look how cool is this. Budville Trading Company. Old neon sign, so cool. Budville, New Mexico. Anyway, we've even got a little bit of snow up there on the peak. Budville, New Mexico, oh, Route 66. All right, I just had to slam on the brakes. Check this out. Mexico Route 66 and that looks like some flagstone from Arizona Look at that old wagon sweet Just saw this right across from the parish shop. Budville right back there. What is this? A little wreath. These servicemen from New Mexico were killed in action at Kisan. Oh wow. A memorial. Official scenic historic marker. The Battle of Kisan, Vietnam, 68. Almost where you dug it. Eternally bonded. The Battle of Kisan claimed the lives of 2,097 United States servicemen. This historic marker is dedicated to honor and preserve the memory of New Mexico servicemen who were killed in action or later died of their wounds. The Kisan, Vietnam veterans will forever live in each other's hearts. Eastbound Route 66. I didn't get the sign for it, but there was a roundabout just back back there, just a, a bit. Don't take the first one; that'll take you I forty. Take the second one, Old Route sixty six Road. Here we are, heading up to Dead Man's Curve. Dead Man's Curve?
Okay, yeah, so we just went around Dead Man's Curve right back there. 180 degrees, right around a big old rock. What a view. Old Route 66 and the New Mexico dead man's curve up there. Interstate 40 right there. Albuquerque is, I believe, 40 or so miles. And I'm not sure. Is this Owl Rock? Owl Rock? Could be. Pardon me? I'm sorry? There's no picture taking their sacred spots. I'm sorry. Well, I guess no picture taking. These are sacred spots. Um, sorry. I didn't know. There's no signs. Just out here uh, doing my thing. 55 Route 66. Start this thing up. Head out on the road. Al Rock. There you go, Al Rock, Dead Man's Curve. All right. <laughs> hey, there it is, Albuquerque, New Mexico. And the Madonna of the trail. There she is, Albuquerque, New Mexico, at Marble and 4th Street. National Society of the Daughters of the American Revolution Memorial to the Pioneer Mothers of the Covered Wagon Days. To the Pioneer Mother of America, through whose courage and sacrifice the desert has blossomed. The camp became the home, the Blaze Trail, the thoroughfare. The National Old Trails Road. Come right through Albuquerque and Route 66. Into the primitive west, face up flung toward the sun. Bravely she came, her children beside her. Here she made them a home. Beautiful pioneer mother. All right. Very cool. So hidden right here in plain sight on 4th and Marble, downtown Albuquerque, New Mexico, number 10 of the 12, Madonna of the Trail. Madonna's of the Trail? Yeah. We're in Wagon Mound, New Mexico on the Santa Fe Trail. Look at this awning. So cool. I'm gonna stop for a uh, for a picture. All right, hang on. What year is it? 1955. Is that a Woody? Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> yeah, no, sir. All right. nice. Thank you, sir. Gets him every time. Oh, sorry. I right, got the post office. I gotta get wig wonk pull. What the heck is that about? Mexico, that's where I just got some pictures of. 
right, so I'm gonna back it up and uh, get some pictures. Oh, much less windy in here. And the window's even open. All right, thanks for coming along for the ride. First shakedown of the, uh, the 55 with the Rooster Shop chassis. Chassis is fantastic. Uh, I've got to get used to that. And then the seat, the TMI interior, I, I love it as well because my old seats had springs in it, so I'd bounce up and down. These you don't bounce. You've got the nice foam, um, so there's no bouncing. And then the chassis, I'm not bouncing either, so there's that. Then there's the uh, the black widow exhaust. There's the overdrive. You've got the overdrive and the overdrive, so this thing is a boogie machine. It's, uh, it's staying cool as a cucumber, as you can see. 177 degrees. Idling like a pussycat. Charging oil pressure. The time. Whoa, what was that? I don't know what that was. All right. Vans are on. Again, thanks for coming along for the ride. If you like what you see, do me a favor. Give me a like and subscribe. I know it's cheesy, but yeah. Um, Trying to do something with this. I don't know what. <laughs> but uh, thanks again for coming along for the ride with the 55. Yeah, I'm Jeff Bishop, and I drive a 55, this 55, and holy moly, it is uh, it's a running machine, a fantastic machine. If I got anybody, I forgot. But again, thanks so much. See you, bye. Adios, amigos.